push your hands up. You put it in park. These are the most intense crime stories that show the fearless criminal. From the criminal who escapes from jail for the third time, the one who threatens the cops, and the offender who beats their family and uses his own friend as a human shield to avoid the cops. Now let's check the videos out. <laughs> On July 29th, the city streets became the stage for a high-stakes drama as body cam footage captured a jaw-dropping moment. Right. Ready? Here you go, bud. Come here. Come here. What? Come here. Stop walking away. Stop walking away. Come here. Hands out your pocket. Hands out your pocket. Go like this. You got anything on you, man? No. Stop, stop running! This cop is stopping his car when he sees the teenager is trying to run while his other friends are already fled by car. When they run into the highway, suddenly one of the cars gets close to the boy and he gets in the car. In the terrifying situation, the cops dragged few meters, but the suspect can run away and leave the officer immediately. The other crime story comes from Huntington in West Virginia. Stop! 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 As the officer encounters the yard, the suspect whose name is Ahmed Abdullah sits behind the house and refuses to cooperate. Let me see your hands. Hey, let me take your hand out of your pocket. No, I won't. Right now. Start me a couple more units over here. He said he's got a gun and he's got his hand in his pocket and won't show me his hands. Let me see your hands. Hey, don't do it. Hey, look, back up, bro. Let me see that hand. Hey, look, I'm about to set this on fire, bro. You got five seconds. Come on, man. Put that down. Talk to me. I'm going to halfway. Hey, it's your call. I ain't going anywhere. Hey, listen, I'm about to blow this. Hey, it's your call. Hey, look. Hey, your call. Hey, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey. Stop! 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 Shots fired! Shots fired! Getting a mess over here! Your, your front window the gangster right. always chooses the wild and risky choice in their life. This is the dash cam footage, and police body cameras captured the intense encounter between Rudolph and Deputy Aaron Blay, who had stopped him for driving his black Escalade with illegally tinted windows on the interstate. Mr. Rudolph. Is there any reason why there would be a hint faint of, of weed coming out of your vehicle? Do you smoke? Do you have any friends that smoke? Anything like that? No, just black and mild. Probably black and mild smoke. After speaking for a while, Aaron Blade notices the smell of marijuana coming from inside the vehicle. Huh? I'm smoking a black and mild. I understand. Just shut the car off for me, please. Okay? The situation quickly heats up when Blade calls for backup. 2513, step him up, please. Out of nowhere, Rudolph floors the gas pedal, dragging the officer almost 100 yards down the road while Blaze desperately holds onto the driver's seatbelt through the window. I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, stop, 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 put it in, put it in park, put your hands up. Let me step him up now. Sir, I'm telling you, put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. I swear to God, push your hands up. You put it in park. Sir. Sir. 
Now we got to see Richard McNair. He is a murderer and had a certain talent for escape. He has escaped from one jail and two prisons, including a federal prison in April 2006. This is his third escape, and hours after his escape from the federal prison, he was stopped by police officer Carl Bordelon as he was running along a railway track. Do you have any form of identification on you? No, man. What's your name? Robert Jones. Robert Jones? Uh huh. I'm not supposed to be on the tracks? No, that's not the problem right now. Where you, what's your address? I don't have an address. I'm at the hotel. We're working on uh, houses and stuff like that. Roofing. Roofing? Yep. Okay. For my brother. All right. He convinced Bordelon that he was out for a jog and was in town to help with some post Hurricane Katrina repair work. What is? We got an escapee. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where from? A prison. There's a prison here? Yeah. Huh. After long talk with McNair, the cop can't recognize the man in front of him as McNair due to the low quality photo. Nothing about glasses. Can you find out? I'm out with a white male on the tracks at uh, Gilly Williams. Even when he feels the man in front of him somewhat similar to McNair, he is not brave enough to suspect the man, but after all this suspicion, McNair didn't show any nervousness and act like nothing happened here. He even made up the other fake backstory to the cop. Where are you staying at? That uh, Titus Bill or Titus Inn? Titus Inn? Little old. Little old. Uh, Where's that at? I don't even know that address. We just got into town about a week ago, and he dropped me off to jog. I always jog about 12 miles a day. Where'd he drop you off at? Up there on that road by, uh, there's some construction going on up there, some houses. Uh -huh. And he dropped me off, and uh, he'll be back to the hotel in about probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Who do y'all work for? It's his, it's his, uh... I know, what's the name Brooklyn, of the company? Fields Brooklyn. Okay. Um, where are you from? Huh? We're originally Dallas, Texas. I mean, that's where you... After 10 minutes of talks, he let McNair go on his way and escaped right in front of his own eyes. The next week after that, McNair was added to the U.S. Marshal's 15 most wanted list as the first prisoner to escape federal prison since 1991. Even with a lot of media attention, McNair managed to get into Canada and avoided being caught until October 2007. The other crime story comes from Albuquerque, New Mexico. In calm evening on March 29, 2023, the officers in the southwest area got a call about a family dispute and said a man was grabbing and hitting the mother and aunt of the suspected offender, 32-year-old Francisco Macias. According to the Albuquerque Police Department, APD, Macias was high on narcotics when he reportedly assaulted his mom and aunt inside a home in southwest Albuquerque, just moments before firing his gun outside. I can't fucking see him, LT! Okay, right there, right there. Front of car. Front of car. He's pointing at him! Once on scene, officers found an armed Machias with two friends in a front yard and ordered him to drop his gun, and the foot chase happened for a while. APD's helicopter was flying overhead, and video from the helicopter showed Machias chase the other male towards the backyard. Stop talking, I'm gonna stay with the guy, in the, the white guy without the shirt. There's a guy with the white pants, he's our offender, and we're checking on every guy to see if they have any, uh, any victims. Macias fought with his friend and tried to take the handgun to defend himself, but his friend tossed the handgun over the fence into the neighboring yards. Yard neighbor's lying on the ground. He's standing over him at this time. Got two subjects. 
Now he's walking towards the... He knew he would screw up, so he jumped the fence. And as soon as Macias knew that he had nowhere to run, he pulled the other friend who lay on the ground, tried to avoid Mazias, and attempted to use him as a human shield from approaching officers. Macias pulled out a phone and held it to the man's head as if it were a handgun. Now the officer knew that Macias no longer had a gun and successfully deployed his taser as officers wrestled Macias to the ground. After refusing to comply with the officer's orders and surrendering, this man, who ran through several red lights, finally stopped at Broadway and 22nd Santa. The officer attempted to stop the driver, and the driver fled at high speed. After the long, useless talk from him, the suspect then started to run away. An officer's gang tackled the suspect and arrested him. Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! 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 Get Grab an arm, grab a leg. Grab an arm. Will, you got a wrap? Okay. Hey, the wrap's in the back of the first car. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, Put in my car. Yeah, go. Which one? Probably. Uh, 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 Mine has little strips of white out of the 